this is a video on repeated subtraction to help you learn it, and if you already learn it, get better at it. So, the first step we're going to do is read our question. So the question is 8,240 divided by 4. And the first step, or the second step, is we are going to find something to multiply 4 by to get us to lower this number here. And the first thing we're going to use is 10. So 4 multiplied by 10 would get us 40. So we're going to write 40 under here. And whatever you're multiplying by, you have to put it over at the side. So then we're going to subtract um, these numbers here. And remember, the more you know your reflex, the, better, the, easier, the easier this will be for you. And also, the more zeros there are in the number, the easier it is. Yeah. So we're going to subtract this. Zero, zero. And then we're going to bring down the two. Okay. So now pause this video and try to figure out the next step. So you should have concluded that you want to get rid of the 8,000. So 4 times 2 is 8, and that's not going to get us far. And make sure you always want to show your work at the side, so then the teacher knows that you actually... Okay, 4 times 2. I would like this. So, um... Is it? So if you do 4 times 20, you add the 0 here. 8. Still not close enough. Maybe 4 times 200. 800. We want to get a little farther, don't we? Yeah. So, 4 times 2,000 equals 8,000. That is very. That'll lower it a lot. So we'll do. And then you're, we're going to subtract 8,000. And then you're going to write what you multiplied it by up on the side. Which is this number right here. So we'll actually just write it again. Okay, write it. Okay. So pause the video here and video here and try to figure out the next step. Okay. So she, you should have concluded that you wanted to lower this number. And now, I think that we can do 25 because 25 four times is 100, and that would get us like lower that by half. So good right. idea. 20. Five over here. Oh, and remember, this uh, in purple here is not a number. No. Uh, and then we're gonna do the answer down here, and then we're gonna subtract it. So that's just, we should get that as the answer. And now we have to find another thing to multiply yeah, by. Right. Hold on, we're just gonna extend the line. Okay. There we go. So. Um, we could obviously do 25 again, because that's 100, and then we would be bang on with no remainders. So let's do 25 again. And then of course subtract it. Once we've subtracted it, you get zero. So there's no remainders. If there was a number here, that would be like your remainder, though. Three. That okay. would be your So you write your so answer up here, but you need to um, add these together. So... Yeah, you have to add those together to get your answer. Plus 2,000. 2,000. It's 25. It's another 25. Gives you... Zero. So you write the question up here. Right here. Or you write the answer. Yeah, the right answer. So our answer would be 2,060, but if we did have a remainder, this is how you would write it. Remain R, and then whatever it is, but you don't have to do R0, but you can. Okay, now let's do a different Let's question. do another one. So, so this is our new question. question. So right off the bat, we can do 100, because that will lower it. Because if you do 100, or 400 times 100, for a total of 400... We can subtract that there and yeah, we'll that. we only have that much left. So we're already super duper okay. close to zero. So now we can do four times ten. And as you can see on this question, it's forty. So four times ten is forty. And remember to write your uh, what you're multiplying by over there and subtract it. So now, I'm going to explain remainders to you. But since we can't multiply 4 by anything to get a 1, then we're done. 
So that is now our remainder. So we go up here and you and we add these numbers together. So we will add over on the side 110. You have to add it to the Okay, so once we add these two, we'll get a total of 110. And then we always write our answer above here. So 110. And since we have a number down here, that is our remainder. So our stands for remainder. Remainder one. But if this was a different number, like five, well, that would have to be different too. Then, um, then you would write our five. watching this video hope you understand do reflex hope you understand uh, this repeated this subtraction. subtraction make sure you copy down the example into your interactive notebook hope it helped you bye